All right, welcome to the Q2 2020 Hackathon kickoff plus um, a core team meeting. So uh, just like we did in uh, February, where we decided to combine the kickoff with the with the core team meeting. Obviously, the world has uh, changed slightly since the last time we did a hackathon, but uh, good to have all of you on the call uh, to give uh, every, at least me a sense of normalcy. So definitely appreciate that. Um, so yeah, so the first half of the call, we'll just talk about the hackathon that uh, uh, already off to a roaring start. Uh, I don't know if people noticed, we're already up to 20 plus MRs. Uh, so uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so we'll I spend about 15, 20 minutes talking about like a hackathon and logistics. And then we have like a regular uh, uh, core team meeting topics that we have at the, at the second half of the call. Um, and uh, Phil, Please, uh, I mean, for those of you that are joining for the first time, please feel free to like to stop me if I'm uh, not being clear about something, or if, uh, if you want to ask a question, and please feel free to type questions on the chat as well if you don't want to verbalize. Um, so, a quick intro. I mean, David, do you want to like a quickly introduce yourself, and then and and then I'll do the same, and we'll get started. Cool. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm David. I uh, I work on the community relations team. I'm based in Europe and um, yeah, the way I participate in the hackathon essentially is um, covering for the time well, uh, well, um, uh, well, uh, Ray is not, uh, is not there. Um, feel free to ping me on, uh, on, the, on any issue with, uh, with my handle deep on Cool. And, and I'm Ray, uh, I'm based in California. And like David said, I, I think we have a, like a decent uh, coverage in terms of uh, like it, uh, with in, in terms of time zone. Uh, so if you ping either one of us on, particularly on Gitter, uh, we should be able to jump in and help out. Um, and I mean, believe it or not, I think this is like the eighth edition of the hackathon. So uh, glad to um, uh, get this thing one, get this thing going. And uh, uh, we haven't tweaked, I mean, I don't know if, uh, how many people are joining for the first time. Uh, we sort of uh, sticking to, um, you know, um, a, a usual routine for, for the hackathon with some tweaks. Uh, so this is the agenda. Uh, we'll talk about logistics, schedule, um, prices, and I also want to spend a decent amount of time on, um, there are a lot of good issues that people have suggested from, um, from the GitLab team members. Uh, so I want to highlight those as well. I mean, a number of people have already started working on those. Uh, so um, mm -hmm. I think we have a number of good ones from, particularly from like a UX and front end uh, that are good for like a hackathon, good bite size uh, chunk issues. Uh, so I'll uh, make sure I'll spend a decent amount of time talking about those. Uh, just a quick reminder on the community code of conduct. Uh, I mean, this is obviously a virtual event, but uh, like we do at all the events at GitLab, uh, like to remind community members about the community code of conduct. Uh, you see the link there uh, that you can read the full text at your leisure. Uh, but I mean, just want to iterate that just like any good open source project, we want to foster a welcoming and opening uh, an, an open environment uh, for everybody to to work together. And I mean, if you see any you know concerns or inappropriate behaviors, I mean, feel free to use that email alias con uh, conduct at gitlab.com. The email should come to both me and David. Um, I mean, fortunately, we haven't had any issues in in past hackathons, and hopefully, it stays that way. But um, just want to uh, give people a quick reminder on the code of conduct. Um, moving uh, right along, uh, logistics. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is a two-day virtual event. Um, I mean, we want to respect you at the time zone that you're in. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the MRs that came in, I mean, so far that I already mentioned, they came from uh, I mean, Asia Pacific time zone for obvious reasons, like even for the, this kickoff session. Um, I mean, the kickoff session is just sort of there to sort of uh, kick it off to mark the beginning uh, beginning of the event. Uh, we'll also have a wrap up session um, uh, Thursday evening. Uh, I mean European time, uh, but obviously if you're in the Pacific time zone that you are, uh, like I am, I mean, you'll have several more hours to work on it. But that's just sort of uh, you know unofficial demarcation of uh, the beginning and end of the events. Um, and uh, just like we have done in the past, in addition to people working on MRs and, and hacking away, 
Uh, we do have uh, a couple of office hours. Uh, the package and runner teams are back. Uh, those teams have been doing uh, monthly office hours, and I mean, it just made sense to, I mean, coincide them with the hackathon to to get more people participating. Uh, so they're back, uh, and uh, GitLab Monitor Health uh, is is. Uh, I mean, there'll be a tutorial on GitLab Monitor Health. Uh, I mean, there are a number of contributors that have been contributing to that group uh, over the past uh, couple of months, and I, uh, I've already seen a couple of MRs uh, for the health group. Uh, so uh, definitely looking forward to that. I mean, Sarah, she's the product manager. She'll be, she'll be talking to the community mem members about, um, in case you're not familiar with that, uh, the stage or, or the group. Uh, I mean, you should be able to get more familiar with it and where uh, she's looking for community members to help. And if you're not able to participate in those sessions live, uh, those are all uh, posted on the Hackathon playlist. I'm going to do my best to post them as soon as the events are over. Um, and I mean, I've been pretty really pleased with um, and not only the people participating in those sessions, but I mean, typically within 24 hours, I'll typically see like 100 plus views on each of the recordings, which, which, is, a, which is pretty amazing. Um, whoops, I think I have a typo here. Um, let me just advance the slide. Uh, sorry about that. I mean, that's just sort of a, I don't know, that suggested issues to work on. Uh, bullet ended up there, uh, but I'll talk about that in a few slides. And here are the tutorial sessions. Uh, you should have all the Zoom links. Um, and um, this isn't the latest and greatest um, uh, screenshots, but I think uh, there'll be links to the presentations or, or issues uh, for office hours. Uh, so uh, you'll have the latest information on the Hackathon tutorial uh, sessions page. Um, let me pause here for a sec. David, uh, do you think I, uh, let me know if I miss anything here. Again, apologies no, for sorry. that. Yeah, Sounds go good. ahead. By the way, yeah. it was me doing the ninja edit, adding the speech oh, okay. <laughs> bullet point in oh. there. Oh, no uh, worries. I just wanted to, to highlight it, but, uh, but yeah, we can cover it later on the on the slides. I just wanted to make sure that people are right. aware of the fact that, uh, that they can work on their, uh, on the issues that, uh, that they're interested in, but there's a list right. of, um, um, there's a curated list uh, that uh, that um, product managers and engineering managers um, and uh, and also um, also Ray um, essentially put together for uh, that might be interesting for people to to get started on. Cool. Okay. Thank you, David. Uh, yeah, I mentioned Gitter early, uh, earlier. Um, so, I mean, we're well over like 500 people that are in the, commu uh, in the contributor room. Uh, this is usually the best place to get help. I mean, not during, not just during Hackathon, but, but uh, you know, during regular times as well. I mean, there are uh, not just me and David, but there are a lot of community members there. I mean, they can help answer questions on, like if you get st stuck with something on GDK, for example, I mean, this is usually the best place to get help. Um, so, I mean, feel free to use it. And then, I mean, during the hackathon, feel free to ping me uh, or David, uh, and then we'll, uh, we can jump in and, and try, to, try to help you out uh, during the event. Oh, let's see, hit the wrong button. Okay, uh, and just want to talk about the MRs and prizes. Uh, so when you submit an MR, a number of people have already done it. Uh, they've sort of used to the routine. Uh, in the comment box, it just mentioned me or David, and then just note, I mean, just mentioned that this is for the hackathon, and we'll continue to track those on this issue. Uh, let me just click there and show you the page. Um, so yeah, you're MRs will be sort of added to the list, and this is where we get the count of, um, as of at least 30 minutes ago, I counted like a 21 MRs, and three of them already merged. Uh, and Takuya, I think I was able to merge a couple of your quick documentation fixes, so for, thank you for that. Um, so this is where we'll create a list of uh, MRs to track, and then even in the issues directly, like a lot of people have done, just, I mean, feel free to just ping me here as well, and then just, just let me just bring it to like our attention and we'll be happy to add them to the list. Uh, let's see. And then 
uh, yeah, and then on the main hackathon page, uh, we have an MR counter. Um, so you'll see it here. So you'll see the running tally of how, how many MRs in, have been submitted so far or during the hackathon. So, and the prizes. Uh, so this is, I mean, pretty similar to uh, what we've done in the past. I mean, we have a grand prize for most number of MRs merged, uh, and the, we also have a, pri a prize for a second place winner. Um, and as I noted, I mean, in terms of like doing the work during the two day event, I mean, we wanna make sure that you can, you're able to work during your normal, uh, whenever you, you normally contribute to uh, GitLab. So just work during your normal, in your normal time zone. The only time we'll have a, like a same, like a deadline, uh, enforce the same deadline for, for everyone is a deadline for MRs to be merged. And that's uh, 2300 UTC on, on May 26. Uh, it should be a Tuesday because um, uh, Monday's a holiday in the US. I just want to give people an additional day for MRs to be merged. Uh, but if you have any issues, like for for whatever reason, there's a, you feel like there's a delay in, in MRs getting merged, I mean, feel free to reach out to me and I'll make sure that uh, we'll find a way to uh, either expedite the review or, or, or count them as, as a um, MR that's been merged. And then I'll open a separate issue to notify uh, the winners. Uh, and if you go to this link uh, under the hackathon project, you'll be you'll probably be able to find issues from the past hackathons where we announce winners. So that's a quick logistics on prizes and MRs. Uh, so here's a quick uh, uh, screenshot of uh, the prizes for uh, the merge MR and and the second place. Uh, uh, second place prize and the first prize, uh, the grand prizes is, is like we. Uh, done in the past, this has been pretty popular, like $100 to spend at the store. Um, so, and actually Samantha, who's on the phone, uh, she, uh, or who's on, online, she's, she's gonna help us with that. So thank you, Samantha, appreciate that. Um, cool, yeah, so hopefully you'll like the cross body bag. I, I was looking for something that, you know, when things sort of get back to normal, sort of people can use either during commute or, or when you're traveling, but hopefully those days will, these will come pretty soon, and and uh, and and, uh, and also a charger, uh, uh, wireless charger for your mobile. Uh, I mean, most likely your phone, uh, but it's uh, it's covered in fabric, which I thought looked pretty nice. So hopefully, people will enjoy that. Okay, uh, just some quick stats, uh, and obviously we we've, we've been having like a phenomenal growth in terms of like an MR submitted. Um, and what you'll notice from Q2 of last year, actually about a year ago, we had a disappointing drop. And I think one of the issue was, I actually, I think if I remember correctly, the Q3 hackathon last year was scheduled during the last week of May. Uh, and it turned out that, I mean, not just in the US, but several countries had a holiday that week. So I, I don't think a lot of people were very active. So it'd be interesting to see what happens this year. Uh, that's why I, I I consciously decided to sort of pull it closer to the middle of the month versus like doing it in uh, latter part of latter part of May. Um, and I, a lot of people ask about, um, you know, in terms of grand prize, like uh, how many like merge MRs are involved. So I just went to sort of share that data. I mean, we had a really high number in Q4 of 28, but uh, so you'll see the uh, record there between like seven and 28 sort of been the number for, for the grand prize. All right, so yeah, and this is something that David brought up earlier. Um, so if you uh, go back to the issue uh, where we track the MRs, if you look at the top of the page, this is where we have sort of recommended or or um, or uh, you know short list of issues that that we think would be good for hackathon, and there's a query that you can easily do for um, issues that are good for first time contributors, and that's one of them. Um, and the second one on Gitter, I mean, this is some, this is something that I added. Uh, I talked to Eric on the Gitter team, and uh, if you use an iPhone, like you'll notice that if you try to log on to Gitter, you can't use your GitLab ID, uh, but you can on Android. So, uh, for I mean, for a selfish reason, because I have an iOS device, 
I want to encourage community members to work on that. And then here's an MR um, that actually a community member did for Android last year. Uh, so hopefully you can use it as a reference, and that's one of the um, uh, that's one of the issues that we have uh, for Gitter. And then here's a here's an issue, just uh, like a cleaning up like old feature flags. And then if I go to this issue, uh, I mean number, uh, um, I mean one of the contributors from in Indonesia already started working on this um, uh, earlier today, uh, but here. Are, relatively quick and simple ones that you can help out with. Uh, this is also labeled like a good for first time contributors. Uh, so I marked off the ones that, that uh, Gilang is already taken care of with his MRs, but here's a good one. Uh, and if you're interested in the front end, I mean, here's an Epic uh, that's got a lot of uh, like issues listed here. And then, uh, I mean, Natalia, you probably know, I mean, last few hackathons, uh, I mean, the, the epics and issues from front end teams have been like gold mines. I think last last uh, quarter we had about 50 MRs that were merged uh, with a couple of epics that the front end team created. Um, so there are tons of issues here that you can tackle. Uh, I think uh, Arun's probably started working on this even before some of these, even, even before the hackathon, but this is a uh, probably good one for you to look at uh, uh, if you're interested in front end. And then we also have uh, about a dozen or so UX related issues that UX team added here uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh, so here are the ones that you can probably tackle. Uh, I don't believe anyone's like started working on these yet. So uh, these are uh, should be all available. So I encourage you to take a look at these. And then, um, you know, as, as David mentioned, I mean, if there's something that you want to fix, but I mean, you, you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily find an issue that's completely fine. It's not like, um, I mean, it's having an issue is not a requirement, uh, but if you're looking for guidance on, on things that are good for hackathons, it, it should be a decent uh, lift list of things that uh, hopefully will be um, uh, good for a lot of like new contributors and uh, uh, good bite-sized issues that people can tackle during the hackathon. Uh, Natalia, actually, do you want to like, do you have any thoughts on like this epic for uh, view event hub submit or I think it's like pretty. Actually, actually yeah. good. Go ahead. I've created I've create I've created a better epic for this. This is yeah. a part of the bigger epic. You can see an ancestor effect for deprecated parts. And then uh, okay. we, we can take another epic from there if right. we don't have enough for the front end because we also want to get rid of slots in mm -hmm. the view also lot syntax. So if you look for more front end epics, there is one more epic here. Yeah, a migrate okay. view slot attribute. Oh, okay. But I believe, but I believe this should be tackled, and we need to add issues there because there is only a okay. list of components. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, it looks like Scott opened this a couple of weeks ago. But cool. I think, I think it would be cool to uh, add some backend related issues to the list because I've seen only front end. Yeah. One. Right. Yeah, I think, I mean, actually, Natalia and I talked about this, uh, you know, probably a little over a week ago, because uh, I think I reached out to the back end team, or at least on the back end Slack channel, uh, and see if, if there's um, is something similar we can do on the back end side of things. And I haven't necessarily heard back, but I think the part of the challenge is, is there's just a lot more dependencies on, on back end related work. Uh, but yeah, I can certainly reach out to uh, the Slack channel again and see if uh, uh, we can we can come up with something. But that's a good point. So, okay, I think that's all I wanted to say about the issue. David, would, was there anything else that you wanted to mention here? Or I think there's also one for internationalization that's always been there for a while, but. Yeah, um, I wonder if we should, uh, I mean, we had in the past a list of, uh, a big list of internationalization uh, issues on a on an epic. So that reminds me whether we should uh, have a look at that. In any case, uh, no, I don't have anything else to, to add. Uh, I'd just say that I'd be, given the progression that we've had with uh, with participation, a number of issues, a uh, number of uh, MRs 
submit it, uh, it'd be uh, it'd be awesome to to aim for 200 um, MR submitted on this uh, on this edition. Um, I think it would be great to showcase the work that uh, that our community is doing. Yep. Cool. Okay. Sorry, so, though, just a small note. Yeah. If if you've mentioned it already, apologies. But in no. the past, yeah. I've had a, a tendency to accidentally start work on an MR um, for an issue that maybe already has someone working on it. Um, so that's something maybe for people to look out for and just triple check that not only you know it might say that it's accepting merge requests, it might not have a a signee. Um, but just double check whether anyone's made a note to say they're picking it up or if there's a, an MR in progress and maybe just to add a note yourself if you are going to be picking it up. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, unfortunately, that does happen. I mean, it doesn't happen that often, but it does happen once in a while. Uh, I mean, if you're not sure if the issue is still, I mean, something that you need to work on and feel free to ping me or like, uh, other GitLab team members that are in the issue. And, and yeah, I mean, I think double checking is it's not a bad idea. Um, I mean, what I typically try to do is when somebody expresses an interest, I would assign it to them. But um, yeah, a lot of times like issue sometimes doesn't get assigned right away uh, to folks, but yeah, that's a good tip. Okay, um, moving right along. Uh, in terms of getting help, uh, I think I got, like one or two slides left here. Uh, I already mentioned Gitter. I mean, that's uh, that's probably be the best place to start uh, in terms of getting help. Uh, but there are other resources as well at GitLab. There's a merge request coach that you can mention on MRs uh, with this, uh, you know, with this mention. Whoops, sorry, hit the wrong key. Um, and then you can also like a ping reviewers and maintainers. Uh, if you go look at this page, you'll see a table of like a ma all the maintainers listed. And uh, I mean, I, I say this over and over again, uh, every time I talk to contributors or community members, it's a completely fair game to mention anybody at GitLab. I mean, don't be shy about doing that. I mean, you know, we're, I mean, I'm a GitLab employee, but before that I'm a community member. So we owe it to everybody to, you know, get back to people. Um, so don't be shy about, like I mentioned, people in, in issues or, or MRs. Uh, but I mean, during the hackathon, I mean, feel free to mention me or David, that's probably going to be sufficient. But in general, you can uh, always like reach out to merge request coaches as well. And they should be able to help out and answer your questions. I mean, we do have like, I think the number's up to 10 coaches right now. Uh, so we have uh, decent coverage. Um, uh, in terms of number of people available, like the front end, back end, and, and other other areas as well. So um, I think that's it. Uh, Want to make sure. Let me see. If people have any questions on chat? Uh, don't see anything. But if there are any questions on the hackathon, uh, just let me know. Pause for about ten seconds for. Any remaining questions, or or core team members, if you have any any feedback or comments that you want to provide for uh, hackathon uh, participants, I mean, feel free to chime in as well. All right. So if not, we'll just transition to the core team meeting, uh, and uh, and as usual, I'm probably need some help with the note taking here. So let me post it on the chat window. Uh, so Google Doc, core team members, if you can help out with note taking, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, so yeah. So in case people are just joining the core team meeting for the first time, I just want to give a quick introduction of what a core team is. Um, I, I think I did the same thing last quarter, but I'll spend a minute or so talking about or explaining what a core team is and the rest of the agenda topic that as I listed on the issue. Uh, excited about the two core team members. I mean, a couple of people already uh, chimed in, so want to welcome them uh, to the core team. And I want to talk about uh, GitLab Commit. That's a virtual event that's coming up in, I believe, I, I believe it's the last week of August. 
Uh, so I want to talk, like encourage people to participate on GitLab Commit, uh, particularly with the CFP that's open till June 1st, I believe. And then a uh, topic that's sort of been near and dear to like uh, to Lee, I mean, I think Lee, you dialed in at like a four in the morning last week on a GDK office hour. Uh, and one of the things that we wanted to talk about was a doc improving GDK documentation. I opened an epic uh, for that topic. So I uh, want to spend some time talking about that. And um, any other topic that uh, people want to discuss, we'll um, make sure we cover those as well. Um, so moving right along, uh, just a quick intro on the core team. Uh, I mean, if you, the first link is, uh, is a link to the core team page. Uh, I mean, basically we, I mean, we're up to about 10 people now, I think with the two new additions. Uh, I mean, basically the main charter or the core team is to, uh, to be the representative of the rest of the code contributor community. I mean, these are a group of people, uh, I mean, that have made sustained contributions to GitLab uh, for a number of years. Um, and and so, I mean, they bring a lot of experience and, and not just in terms of like contributions and not just in terms of like using our product, but, uh, uh, you know, representative community, I appreciate the feedback that you've been able to provide over the past couple of years that I've been at GitLab. Um, so, I mean, think of the core team members of, as representatives of, 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 uh, of the community. Uh, and the monthly meetings that we, we typically hold it on like a second Wednesday of each month. And the meeting's open to everybody. Uh, and then the agenda topics and all that is, is, is discussed in, in the public issue. Uh, so if you click on the, like a core team group link there, uh, you'll see the uh, meeting, like a agenda and discussions from the past. And then we're one of the few groups, I guess like at Lab that use a wiki. Uh, so I, I post all the materials and, um, and notes on the wiki page for, for people that, like, I think it makes it easier for uh, people from other co communities to consume. And then uh, we also have a playlist of all the meeting that gets recorded. Uh, I mean, this has been pretty fascinating. I'm like, with very little marketing, I'm, I'm amazed at the number of people that typically view the recording within a couple of weeks. Um, so I, I know this is, um, you know, people are listening and, and watching the recordings. And uh, so that's all available publicly. I mean, anybody can join um, the discussions anytime. Um, but yeah, so this is, I just wanted to give you a quick uh, 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 introduction uh, on, on the core team. Um, uh, David, anything you want to add here on the core team? I may have like fumbled along in a couple of places, but no, I think I don't have anything uh, anything else that I can think of right now. I think that was a bit of a way of that straight. All right, so as I mentioned, uh, we have two new members. Uh, I mean, I couldn't. Uh, I think it's been at least been more than a year uh, last time we added new people to the core team. Um, so, uh, uh, I mean, the other thing I, I didn't mention about the core team in the previous slide was that we have up to two people that are that are actually GitLab team members, uh, but rest of rest are from the wider community. Uh, so, I mean, definitely excited to welcome uh, Lee from the wider community and Natalia. Uh, from the GitLab team, and I'm I'm gonna like I don't want to put you on the spot, but Lee and Natalia, if you want to like a, give a quick introduction, because uh, I don't think you met other people on the core team or other people on the call. So, Lee, I'll uh, sorry to put you on the spot first, but if you want to uh, just tell us about yourself, where you're located, and how long you've been contributing to GitLab, that would be great. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, I, I think. Um, I'm based in the UK and started using GitLab a couple of years ago. Um, I've run a small software development company and um, yeah, essentially probably six months after that, so 18 months ago, wanted some additional functionality and found out that, you know, through the open source project, I could actually contribute that functionality um, and then got rather hooked, I guess. <laughs> Well, thanks for sticking with it. And I, I think, I mean, I think George and, and David, you may have had a chance to meet uh, meet with Lee in, in London. I don't know if you if you did have a chance or not, but I mean, Lee, it was definitely nice to meet you at, at Get Like Commit in London. But, yeah, it was a great event and uh, looking forward to normality when we might get the opportunity to, to meet another. 
Yeah, well said. Yeah. All right. Well, Natalia, do you want to do the next int uh, introduce yourself really quick? Like. Sure. So yeah. I'm Natalia. I'm a senior front end engineer in the process of promotion. So <laughs> hopefully <laughs> soon to be staff. And I've wor I'm working for GitLab since November 2018, and I actually met some core team members at GitLab Contribute last year. Like, hi, George. Yeah. And also outside of GitLab, I'm a Vue core member, so it, it's one of the major JavaScript frameworks. So like two core members, I feel like a dual core right now. And thanks. There you go. Welcome. Welcome so, yeah. Welcome, Lee and Natalia. Yeah. I like the dual core. Like some of the processor companies may try to hire you. But... <laughs> All right, cool. So, yeah, speaking of GitLab commit, uh, and yeah, I mean, unfortunately, this, uh, I mean, a lot of the events, um, pretty much for the rest of the year, I, I, it sounds like not just like GitLab, but rest of the industry is probably mo moving online or virtual. Um, so the GitLab commit, uh, the only one we have on schedule is on the August 26, uh, and it's going to be an online virtual format. And then I have a link to the event page, and I mean definitely want to like encourage everybody not just to participate in the event, but we also have a CFP that's open until June 1st. Um, so got like a two to three weeks for people to come. Uh, like I think about like the sessions, I believe there are four tracks. Um, uh, if you go take a look, why don't I just go there really quick and make sure that I'm not just making this up. Um, yeah, I think there's a DevOps uh, case studies. And so you'll see the details here um, in terms of, uh, in, in terms of event. Uh, so I definitely encourage people to uh, think about like a submitting a CFP uh, if you have an interesting topic that you want to talk about. Uh, and I mean, George, you've done this um, a, couple, a couple of uh, commits last year. I mean, if you need help with the CFP or even putting the presentation together, I mean, feel free to reach out to me and David. I'll uh, be happy to uh, introduce you to the folks in the marketing team. Uh, uh, so. Uh, I definitely encourage you. Want to encourage you to do that. And also, I mean, some of the things that I, uh, I mean, what I've done in in some of the events in the uh, commits in the past is I I think I've done like a two different uh, panel type discussions. Uh, so if you have an idea for that, and if you need me to help or participate in that, I uh, I mean, just please let me know as well. Um, so. Uh, I think like if you've been on Twitter, uh, I think the announcement has started going out in the past week or so. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions. Uh, but I definitely want to uh, encourage people to participate or even uh, even uh, think about giving a talk. Oh. Ray, I've just had uh, a yeah. link there uh, on the uh, on the presentation. There's also a virtual oh. virtual meetup. Uh, then Jeff, that Jim Coughlin and uh, I think Emily Chin uh, are, are organizing oh, perfect. Uh, to provide some guidance on how to get selected to speak to, uh, to speak at GitLab Commit. So essentially, um, there will be some discussions and guidance around uh, writing a good uh, call for papers, CFP, um, and then having good topics as well. To um, if you if someone is interested to um, uh, to submit a talk, then uh, then definitely uh, I'd, I'd suggest to check out that. Uh, Either the uh, the session live or to or the recording afterwards. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the benefit of being virtual event. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be face to face, but I mean, there's no. I mean, you don't have to travel, which is which is kind of nice. Like, uh, it could be taxing at times. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I don't know if we have information on the time zone for the event, but unless in the unless the time zone is is onerous, I, I think we might make event participation easier because you can just do it from your desk at home. So. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for that. I might join that meetup myself. So. Cool. So. Uh, Moving on to the next topic, uh, I mentioned the GDK office hours. 
Uh, we also have a playlist for GDK. Uh, so, I mean, I, I unfortunately forgot to record the first office hour that we did two months ago, but the one we had like last week that Lee participated in, uh, the recording should be available there. Um, so we talked about a number of things. I mean, not just about documentation, but also about uh, ways to improve GDK in general. I mean, we actually have a, a team of people that are uh, actually dedicated to GDK. It used to be more of a volunteer effort within uh, within GitLab, but with Lucas and Ash uh, that are actually uh, working on G like improving the GDK itself. Uh, I, I mean, Lee, you, you probably remember other technical details better than I do, but uh, I mean, I was excited to hear about things like a, GD, a GDK pristine. Like if your GDK gets broken, like you just run a command to to get a like a pristine install of GDK. Um, so there are a number of uh, uh, activities that Ash and people are working on. Uh, so that's that's pretty exciting. And and one of the things that I I I felt like a an area for improvement was actually improving the documentation. Uh, and if I'll go to that link for that epic, uh, which I opened last week. And then Patrick and others like added a lot of different issues um, uh, uh, as part of the epic to improve uh, the GDK documentation. I mean, one of the thing that I think that's relatively easy fix and I'll probably gonna start working with the docs team on is we don't have a dedicated page for GDK on docs.gitlab.com, which I think is is unfortunate because I think a lot of times people get can uh, get sort of directed to the GDK README page, which isn't um, uh, which I don't think is ideal. Uh, so that's one of the things that that I want to talk to docs team about uh, updating. And there are a number of things. I think Patrick actually went through the exercise of installing. Uh, GDK on a couple of different operating systems, and there are some corrections that he wanted to make on on several sections of the doc. Um, and I think Ash also talked about right now the the setting up of GDK is separate from like the prerequisites uh, in terms of documentation, and that seems kind of unnatural. Uh, so there are a number of issues here that you can probably take a look at for improving documentation. Um, but I mean, obviously we welcome your ideas and feedback because you probably are a lot more experienced in actually using GDK than I am. Um, but uh, Lee, would, anything else that you want to add here that I probably missed a, like a lot of details that we talked about last week with Ash? But. I think the, the survey is interesting to, to kind of collate some information around um, how everyone's developing, what, what operating systems, what tools they're using and um, kind of work out where some of the focus is and Certainly from my point of view, I believe I'm in the minority being a, a Windows developer. So um, kind of understanding, yeah, the best way to get up and running and streamlining that, that kind of process. Cool. Yeah, I, I think like one of the things I talked to, I, I mean, separately, because Patrick couldn't join the office era last week was like, I mean, even like some of the operating systems that are listed there, um, it, we're not quite sure how well all of those are supported in terms of like GDK actually functioning well, but uh, uh, that's obviously worth, worth investigating. Uh, so any thoughts from like other core team members on um, uh, GDK documentation in particular? Like, uh, yeah, hopefully I mean, we'll tackle some of these, at least some of the issues that are captured in the Epic in like this quarter, uh, next couple of months. Um, uh, and uh, I'll keep uh, people up to date, but definitely welcome any feedback or ideas that, that you, you can add on the Epic or any of the issues that are listed there. Cool. Yeah, so I think that's about it uh, in terms of the two or, or three major agenda topics. Uh, there are other topics that people want to discuss? Uh, let me make sure that. Uh, 
Oh, one completely... thing. I oh, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead, a, a little off topic, but um, this morning um, when I uh, woke up, I had a quick look on my mobile phone at the Hackathon page. I suspect this isn't specifically the Hackathon page. I imagine it's the whole of um, GitLab.com, but it, it isn't very mobile friendly. Um, I think the table was the specific um the part where it, it said about the prizes i could only see um the the left hand two and a half columns um there was no scroll bar so um again maybe that's a, a an easy for a ui person little mr to maybe pick up for the hackathon okay no that's a good feedback but yeah i mean i definitely i i have to admit i don't think i checked the hackathon page on my phone but something i probably to do yeah it seems that the uh, i mean the table it, uh, is responsible but then at some point it stops <laughs> being respons responsive uh, but yeah i mean that's i think that's a really good point uh so contributions are are welcome not just on uh, issues for gitlab.com um also on the website and particularly on the, on the hackathon since it's uh, it's a page that gets more visibility to doing the um, during the event. I mean, I personally, one of the things that I would like to see in there would be uh, more visibility on the uh, on the list of suggested issues. Uh, so them, rather than them being uh, a link that could be buried within the page uh, to have the actual list on the, uh, on the front page itself so that people can just uh, visually see the list of issues. Um, but yeah, I'd say any contributions uh, would be really more than welcome. Thanks for the feedback. Okay. Any other topics? Anything else? Well, perhaps one last uh, one last thing. Um, if people are interested in knowing what's what's going on at the at the hackathon, or then refreshing the page to see the list of uh, of MR submitted, and they could also subscribe to the to the hackathon um, uh, label as well yep cool okay uh, any other topics or feedback all right I guess we'll wrap the, wrap things up happy hacking I'll talk to you guys again soon yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Cheers.